Hello there, welcome to CXC Math TV. Today we will be looking at enlargement. Nice! So consider this diagram right here. As we can see, we have triangle A and triangle B. So, what is the relationship between triangle A and triangle B? So, as we can already see from the title, clearly it is enlargement. So, oh. enlargement. To describe enlargement, this is when an object is getting larger or smaller. The object can actually get smaller. So, look at that red rectangle right there. That red rectangle, that is the object A. Now, look at B and C. We see that B is an image that is larger than object A. And C is an image that is smaller than the object A. Oh. Now, whenever we're going to describe enlargement, there are two things that we're going to be talking about. Number one is what is known as scale factor. And number two, what is known as center of enlargement. These are two important components in order to describe an enlargement. So, let's consider this diagram right here. We are going to find the scale factor and the center of enlargement that maps the object triangle ABC and its image triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Now, in order to find the scale factor, we usually call the scale factor K. The scale factor is given by this formula, image length divided by object length. Oh. So, in this case, K is going to be the image length, you can use any side of the image and the object. So let's say you want to use A prime, B prime, that side as a length of four units, the inside of the object, which would be AB, which is two units. Four over two is two. You didn't have to use that side. Let's say you wanted to use the side B prime, C prime. Then the scale factor would be B prime, C prime over BC. So we measure those lengths and we get 6 over 3, which is still 2. Oh. So realize that it doesn't matter which side we do use, as long as we use corresponding sides, we realize that the scale factor is 2. The next thing is to find the center of enlargement. Now to find the center of enlargement, you are going to draw lines passing through each object and image point. Where all the lines intersect is known as the center of enlargement. So we're just going to draw lines now. Look at it. So we draw a line through A and A prime. We draw a line passing through B and B prime and continue to extend that line. And we draw a line through C and C prime. We notice that they all intersect at the origin. So in this case, we say that the center of enlargement is 0, 0. Or some might say the origin. And it's that easy. Easy stuff. That's it. So here's a question for you to try. Find the scale factor and the center of enlargement of the object A and its image B. So pause the video and attempt. Alright. So the first thing we're going to do is find the scale factor. So we're going to use the image length which is B over the object length A. Hey. So we're just going to use that side where we put the arrow on. If we look at that side that we measure on the image, that length is 6 units. And the corresponding side for the object is 3. So the scale factor is 6 over 3, which is 2. Now to find the center of enlargement, we're going to draw a line passing through the object point and the image point. So notice that we're using different colors to pass through different object and image points that correspond to each other. As you can see, all the lines end up intersect at that point right there. So let's put on a blue dot. That blue point right there, that blue point is the center of enlargement. That is the point 7, 6. So the center of enlargement in this case is 7, 6. In other words, we would say that trapezium A is mapped to trapezium B by an enlargement with scale factor 2 and the center of enlargement is 7, 6. 
nice 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 now there are some important bit of information that we must also know about enlargement number one if the scale factor is greater than one then the image will be bigger than the object and it's going to be on the same side as the object number two if the scale factor is greater than zero but less than one the image will be smaller than the object and on the same side ah. and if the scale factor is less than negative one then the image will be bigger than the object but on the opposite side wow. all right those are some key information that we must know so let's look at an example right here it says describe the transformation that maps triangle pqr to triangle p prime q prime r prime so the first thing is that we need to find scale factor and center of enlargement so the scale factor is going to be image length over object length now the image length i'm going to use p prime q prime that is 2 over the object length PQ which is 4 and 2 over 4 is a half but the image is not on the same side as the object whenever the image and the object are not on the same side the scale factor is negative that's what we said ah. so in this case we write that the scale factor is negative a half now join a line through Q and Q prime P and P prime R and R prime all of the lines intersect at the origin and so the center of enlargement is the origin all right so in other words we can say triangle pqr is mapped to triangle p prime q prime r prime by an enlargement with scale factor of negative a half with the center of enlargement being the origin it is really that easy nice so let's look at some exam style questions for us to do Question number one, triangle ABC is drawn on the grid. Enlarge triangle ABC with a scale factor of a half and the center of enlargement being zero, zero. Pause the video and attempt. All right, so we haven't done any of these questions. Then you're probably wondering how to do this. The first thing is write down the coordinates of A, B, and C. A of coordinate, 2, 6, B of coordinate 4, 6, C of coordinate 4, 2. What we're then going to do is say that the image point is equal to the scale factor multiplied by the object point. Ah. So A prime is going to be a half times 2, 6, which is 1, 3. We can label A prime. B prime is then a half times 4, 6. That's going to be 2, 3. And C prime is going to be a half of the point 4, 2, which is 2, 1. We label that point. We just connect up those triangle now. And so that's our triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. That is the image. So that is it. All right. So we can just show it right here on a separate diagram. That is your triangle. Wow. And if you don't believe it and you want it to justify, you could draw lines passing through each point and its image point. And you'll see that they all end up passing through the origin. Oh. All right. It is that easy 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 question all right question number two this question says describe fully the single transformation that map shape a onto shape b pause the video and attempt as we can clearly see that shape a is bigger than shape b but scale factor is just the image length over the object length the object is shape b so I'm just going to measure that length right there. That length is one unit on the image. And that length, the corresponding length on the object is two. So the scale factor is one over two. Now we need to find the center of enlargement. So I'm just going to pick some points on the object and image point using different colors. Right? So we draw the lines now passing through each image and object point that correspond to each other and see where the lines intersect they're all intersecting at that point right there that blue point and that blue point is one five so in other words we can say pentagon a is mapped to pentagon b by an enlargement with scale factor of 0 
and the center of enlargement is 1.5. It is that easy. Nice. All right, let's look at a fully blown CXC exam question now. This is a CSEC question. This question here, it says, the figure below shows triangle ABC and its image triangle A prime, B prime, C prime under an enlargement with scale factor K. Part A, locate the center of enlargement on the graph and write down its coordinates. Determine the scale factor of this enlargement. And then it says, given that the area of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is 36 centimeters square, calculate the area of triangle ABC. So pause the video and attempt. All right. So now here is a new rule that we need to know. All right. Before we can do this question, anytime you're given any object and its image under a transformation enlargement, then the area of the image is equal to k squared times the area of the object. Ah. The k, remember, is the scale factor. What does that mean? Let's start by doing part A and part B before we get to part C. So part A, the center of enlargement. So we just draw a line through the image and its object points corresponding to each other. And all of those lines, as we can see, for C and C prime, A and A prime, they all intersect at that point right there, and that point is 0, 4. So the center of enlargement is 0, 4. No need to determine the scale factor. If you were to just look at the length of BC, if we estimate that's, you know, 2 units across, and B prime, C prime, that's 6 units across, so it's 6 over 2, which is 3. Image Aye. length over object length. So the scale factor is 3. So part A and part B, done and dusted. Part C now. Given the area of the triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime, which is the area of the enlarged shape, so that is the image, that's 36, find the area of the object. Now remember what we said, area of the image is K squared times the area of the object. Ah. So in this case, it's going to be 36 is equal to, the scale factor K is 3, 3 squared, times the area of the object. 3 squared is 9. Then we divide both sides by 9 to get that the area of ABC is 36 over 9 and 36 over 9 is 4. So the area of triangle ABC is 4 centimeters square. And you must remember that formula that area of image is equal to K squared times the area of the object. That's it for today. See you next time and have a blessed day. Remember to keep on practicing.